you to stop doing this. Just deliver to our front door like every other FedEx employee. Hey guys, check it out. We got another box of beer here, another mystery box of beer. This time it was sent from the lovely people over at Urban Family Brewing out in Seattle, Washington. They've sent me a box of beer before. If you haven't seen that video, I suggest you check it out. I'll link it in the D. One day I'm sitting around and I get a direct message from them. They hit me up in the DMs and they say, hey, we got another box of beer headed your way. Hope you really enjoy it. And I was like, it's a Christmas miracle. I can't wait. I'm excited for it. I would say Urban Family's getting up there to be one of my top breweries, and it's not because they're sending me free beer. It has nothing to do with that. The quality of their beer is just really good. They have one of the brewers from New Belgium Brewery working for them now, and they've kind of changed around a little. I know they're not distributing it out on the East Coast anymore, but they did send me this box of beer so I could still enjoy their tasteful delights. Urban Family is one of my favorite breweries in 2017. I would say my top are Urban Family, Tired Hands, Rogue, Henry's Hard Grape Soda, and Lawson's Finest Liquids. Actually, I'm just kidding. One of those is fake. Can you guess which one it is? Yeah, it's Rogue. No one likes Rogue. Without further ado, let's break into this cardboard treasure chest and see what's inside. We got a bag of Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its. They're like one of my favorite snacks. They're so salty and like cheddary. They're very good. I like Cheez-Its, but there's someone who enjoys Cheez-Its even more. Hell yeah, this is looking pretty good on me. I like this thing. This is a fine fabric here. This isn't just your normal stiff t-shirt. This is a nice little fabric. Got a little heather gray on it. I'm gonna wear this into work. What do we got here? Straw bar, this one. I'm excited about this one. I already know about this one. I saw they posted it on Instagram and I was like, holy hell. So I think strawberry and rhubarb are some of the best flavor combos and to mix it in with a sour, it just makes sense. 8.9% alcohol. This is a strong sour. This is gonna be a strong one. Got a couple stickers here from Urban Family. Guess where they're gonna go? Got a fourth one. Oh, that one's sweet. It's got a, like a little robot in the background and stuff. We'll organize this board better. I got I got Friday off, so maybe I'll take the time and organize this board a little better. Oh, man, this is a big boy. Northwest Nectar. Butter Age Tart Saison with local nectarines. Urban Family has some of the best artwork on their labels. I really enjoy it. Is this, is this a bigger? This is a bigger bottle than this, right? So I think I'm only going to review one of these in this video and I'll just have to make another video and review the next one. I can't really drink both. Jack Frost was out spreading his seed so I got to go clear my driveway and last time I snowblowed with a little bit too much to drink in me, it didn't end very well. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Al Bakes. Today, we're making sugar cookies. Oh my god! Oh, are those teeth? How'd you get, what's, why are there teeth? I really want to try both of these, but I think I'm going to go with the straw barb first because it's just what I want to do. Stop. You can really smell the strawberry and rhubarb. It's almost like a, like a fresh puree or like a jam or something. Wow. Very audible. You got quite an audible beer here, Urban Family. It's got a lot to say. That's a delight if I've ever seen one. It kind of has like a jam color to it too. Look at that. Like I said, it's very fruity and pungent. How much rhubarb and strawberry did you guys pack into this thing? Wow. Wow. This is a delicious beer. It's got such a good flavor to it. It's like, it's exactly like strawberry rhubarb pie. You don't get like any crusty It'd be like if you scooped out the inside of strawberry rhubarb pie. I don't know what I'm, I'm speechless. You guys left me speechless. So I've only ever had one other strawberry rhubarb beer, and I would say this even beats that. I could just pound this down. I could just drink this so fast. They used to call me back in college, they used to call me the Flash. Not because I drink really fast, but because I would drink and then show my genitals. So there's only one other person I can think of that'll enjoy this beer more than me. I need you to try this beer. All right. That's delicious. Hey, what the fuck? Wow. 
Wow, guys, this is an incredible beer. I cannot believe this. Thank you so... My cat's rustling in a bag. My rating of this would be 5.5 .5 out of 5 strawberries, or if you were to convert it into rhubarb, it'd be 7 out of 8 rhubarbs. I cannot wait to crack open the other one you sent me, the Northwest Nectarine. If you guys like this video, hit like. If you want to see when I review this one and you're right in the know, hit the subscribe. You can even hit the little bell. You'll be notified right away. Follow me on Instagram and, um, hey, you guys just have a great day or evening or night or whenever you're watching this. Um, ooh, I burped when I had it in and I had to swallow, so like, I think the liquid was probably on top of the burp and the gas didn't get out and it pushed the gas back down with the liquid, but that's alright, it's a good beer and the burp was probably good too. Mm. Oh, Jesus. More in there than I thought there was. That was just a drop.